Hey there, welcome back to Lead Coding. I'm your host Faraz and today we'll be looking at the third problem from Lead Code Weekly Contest 220. So the name of the problem is Jump Game 6. We have already solved Jump Game 5. If you haven't watched the video, the link will be in the description. You can go and watch that video. So let us go through the problem statement first. You are given a zero index integer array nums and an integer k. You are initially standing at the index zero. So we are standing at the index zero and in one move you can jump at most k steps forward without going outside the boundaries of course. So that is you can jump from the index i to any index in the range i plus one and minimum of n minus one there is the boundary and i plus k. You want to reach the last index of the array that is n minus one. Your score is the sum of all the nums j where j is the index that we visited. Written the maximum score that we can get. So looking at the first example we are at the index zero. So we will be getting 1 as the score, then we are going to minus 1, but that will make our score as 0, 1 plus minus 1, then we will go to 4, so our score is 4, and then we will jump to 3. So our final score will be 7, and that is the maximum that we can get. So now let us go to the whiteboard and try to build a solution for this problem. So we will be using example number 3 for that. Here we have the example. These are the scores that we can get, okay? And k is given as 2 and we are standing at 1 so our score is initially 1 now one thing we know if we are standing at the last index our score will be minus 3 this is for sure and if we go to the index 6 so what is the possibility so the only possibility is to add minus 6 and minus 3 because minus 3 we will have to add that to a score anyhow so the last index has to be visited that is why minus 3 will be added so the option for if we are standing at minus 6 will be minus 9 minus 3 plus minus 6 if we are at 3 then we have the option we can either go to this or we can directly jump here if we are directly jumping here the score will be 0 if we are going to minus 6 then the score will be 3 plus minus 6 then minus 3 it is going to be minus 6 so the maximum is 0 so that is why we will be directly jumping to minus 3 our final score will be 0 from here. Similarly, if we are at minus 1, then we will have certain options. The options are to jump to 3 or to jump to minus 6. If we jump to 3, from 3 we can reach minus 3 having 0 score and minus 1 will be added to that. So minus 1 will be one option if we are jumping to 3 from minus 1. If we are jumping to minus 6 from minus 1, from minus 6 it is going to take minus 9 and minus 1 will be added to this so the final score will be minus 10 so which one is better minus 1 is a better score that is why we will be jumping to 3 so the answer for this will be minus 1 now about 4 again we will have two options first option will be to jump to minus 1 second option will be to jump to 3 if we are jumping to 3 the score that we will be getting is 0 and 0 plus 4 is 4 4 is one option. Another option is when we are jumping to minus 1. In that case, the score will be minus 1. So 4 plus minus 1 is 3. Better is 4. So that is why we will make a jump to 3 from 4. And the score that we are going to get is 4. Similarly, for minus 20, we can have 4 plus minus 20 or minus 1 plus minus 20. So minus 16 is better. That is jumping to 4 from minus 20 then from 5 we have two options to jump to minus 20 or to jump to 4 I think it will be beneficial if we jump to 4 because we will be getting 4 as the score and 4 plus minus 5 it is minus 1 and when we are at 1 we can make a jump to minus 5 or we can make a jump to minus 20 if we are making a jump to minus 5 we are getting minus 1 as the score minus 1 plus 1 is 0 if we are jumping to minus 20, we will be getting minus 16 as the score and minus 16 plus 1 is minus 15. So the better is 0. And we can see that 0 is the answer for this case. Now how are we doing this? So we are moving backward. And while moving backward, we are calculating the answer for each of these indices. So in order to calculate the answer for the ith index, let us say this is the ith index. And in order to calculate the answer for this index, we were exploring the next two indices because k was given as 2. If k was given as 3 then we would explore the next three indices and if k was 4 we would explore the next four indices. So 
in order to calculate answer for each of the index we are using the next k indices so the overall complexity will become big o of n multiplied by k for each index we are visiting the next k indices looking at the constraints k is given as 10 raised to the power 5 and the length is also given as 10 raised to the power 5 so the overall complexity is going to be 10 raised to the power 10 which is of course going to give us TLE so we have to think something better so we were exploring the next k indices so as to get the best answer out of it so which one is giving us the maximum score we want to visit that index among the k options that we have available for us so in order to do that we are going to use a data structure called monotone Q we have already discussed about monotone stack if you haven't done that the link will be in the description you can study the concept of monotone stack there similarly we have monotone Q as well it's a very simple data structure uh, you will be able to understand it thoroughly once we start coding it I will just try to explain how does it work so basically in this case we will have to maintain a monotone increasing Q instead of exploring all the key options we should be able to get in a constant time that which place to go from the current place let us say if we are at this index we already know the answer as there are no options to go from this place so the answer for this place is minus 3 this is something that we have to add because we have to reach at this place so minus 3 is one of the option if we are at this place minus 3 is one of the option to go and it is the only option that is available to us so the score will be minus 3 plus minus 6 it is going to give us minus 9 from here we have two options the first option is to go to minus 6 and add minus 9 to the total score or to go to minus 3 and to add minus 3 to the total score minus 3 and minus 9 are the two options available to us which one is better minus 3 is better so we are going to keep minus 3 at the front we are going to maintain this option at the front so that we are able to get this in a constant time now how are we going to do this I will explain you later but as of now just assume that this is at the front so minus 3 is the better option we are going to add that and we are going to get 0 as the total score 3 plus minus 3 and 0 will be the next available option to us so now we are at minus 1 also one thing that we have to notice is minus 3 will no longer be an option why so because minus 3 is somewhere that we cannot reach from minus 1 because it is taking three steps and we can only jump at most two steps so that is why this option minus 3 will be discarded so we have only two options that is 0 and minus 9 now as the option 0 was added to the list so we know that minus 9 will be discarded so 0 can just eliminate minus 9 so that it can come at the front so now the only available option is 0 and minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1 the answer for minus 1 is minus 1 now when we are here at at 4 then the only available option is alright so minus 1 will also be added to the available options so 0 and minus 1 are the two options that is available to us and the first option is greater so we don't have to do anything so just add 0 to 4 so 4 will be the score and now 4 will be the available option now as 4 is the available option 4 wants to be at the front so what we can do is we can discard minus 1 we can discard 0 and we can keep 4 only so we discarded these two things we kept 4 4 is the only option available to minus 20 minus 20 plus 4 is minus 16 and minus 16 will be the next available option and then going to minus 5 we have the best option at the front again that is 4 now 4 plus minus 5 is minus 1 and minus 1 is the next available option minus 1 is greater than minus 16 so it is going to discard minus 16 and minus 1 will come here also the option 4 will be discarded due to the distance so the distance is greater than 2 and we cannot consider minus 4 as the option because of the distance so the only option available to us is minus 1 and that is at the front the best option so that's why the answer will be 1 plus minus 1 that is 0 so now we understand so this structure we can maintain in a queue and that queue will be called as monotone queue so monotone queue is nothing fancy but we are just maintaining the best option at the front and the best option will be greatest so it will be kind of decreasing queue if we have k number of choices and we have k options to maintain it will be the queue will be of size k 
the first element will be the maximum then the element just next to this will be lesser than the first element and so on till the end so this is called a monotone decreasing queue you will get a better clarity of this once we start coding this so we have to take care of two things the first thing is to maintain the first element as the maximum and the second thing is to eliminate all those options which are at the distance greater than k so now let us start coding and see that how we can maintain this structure I think once you are done coding this problem you can tackle any other problem which is related to monotone Q and if you want to solve more problems on monotone stack then the link will be in the description okay so now let us start coding we need to maintain a Q inside the Q we are going to insert from the back and also remove from the back so that is why we are using deck here so in a deck what we can do is we can insert at the front and at the back in a constant time also we can remove from the front and from the back in a constant time another thing that we need is a vector of type int dp it is going to store answer for all the indices it will be of size n where n is the size of nums nums.size dp of last index the answer for the last index is going to be nums of n minus 1 because when we are at the last index the answer will be the score of the last index itself so it is nums of n minus 1 inside the queue we are going to insert the options that are available to us and at the front of the queue we will be having the optimal answer or the most optimal option that we can go to so initially we are going to have only one option let us just push back that option that is the nums of n minus i this is the option that is available to us or we can do this as dp of n minus y now we are going to calculate the answer for each of the indices starting from n minus 2 i greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus so dp of i the answer for the current index is going to be nums of i the score of the current index plus the score when we are at the best option that we are going to jump from this position so that will be at the front of the queue queue dot front okay so this is the answer for this particular index now this will be the option for the indices which are going to come now so we will have to insert this into the queue and we should insert it in such a way that we maintain the order of the queue as monotone decreasing queue and this option if it is the best option it should be at the front of the queue so for that we have to pop out all those elements from the back which are smaller than this particular value so we are going to pop those elements one thing that we have to see while popping is we should not pop when the queue is empty so that is going to give us the segmentation fault so queue dot size till the time this q dot size is greater than or equal to 0 we will compare the elements q dot front this element is whatever is there okay q dot back so this element is the element which is at the back if this is smaller than dp of i in that case we are going to pop this q dot pop back and then we can insert the current element Q dot pushback dp of i uh, one thing if you remember we mentioned that we will have to see the difference difference of the index of the option and the current index if that is greater than k then we have to discard that option so for that we should know the index of the uh, best option that is available at the front so how to know the index either we can store both the indices as well as the value inside the queue the other way is to just insert the index so if you are just going to insert the index for example if you are going to insert n minus 1 instead of dp of n minus 1 we can always get whatever is there at this n minus 1 using this dp vector so this q dot front is going to give us the index and dp of this index is going to give us the value q dot size q dot back and this is dp of q dot back it is going to give us the value whatever is there at this index dp dot back and while pushing we can insert the index 
Now using this index we can know the difference if the q dot front this is the best option minus i is greater than k then q dot pop and we are only required to pop this one element uh, why so because after this element whatever is there obviously the distance of that with the current index is going to be smaller than or equal to k at most uh, we will have to delete only one element you can just think of it using an example and in this case, we'll have to remove multiple elements. It might be possible that we might remove all the elements as the DP of i might be the best score. All right, so the answer will be present at DP of zero. Let us try to run this. There's some compilation error, DP, DP, we didn't make DP. Okay. All right, pop. So we have to mention if we are popping from the front or from the back. So this should be pop front. All right, now we are getting correct answer. Let us try to submit this. Hopefully, yeah, it will get accepted. So talking about the extra space, this DP, this dp vector is taking big o of an extra space and in the worst case the size of this q could be big o of k where k is the steps that we can jump to so big o of k in the worst case both of them are equal so we can say that the space complexity here is big o of n talking about the time complexity so this loop is big o of n we can see big o of n and these all are the constant operations and this while loop you might think that um, as I mentioned, you might have to remove all the k elements which are present. But in the worst case, only n number of elements can be inserted in this queue. So at most, one element will be inserted only once and one element will be removed only once. So at most, n element can be inserted and n elements can be removed using all these for loops. So the overall summation of all these uh, while loops iteration over this for loop is uh, going to be big O of n. So overall complexity will become big O of n. If you found the video helpful, please hit that like button. Do subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out our future videos. And also hit that bell icon so that you can get notifications as we are uploading videos regularly. Thank you.